Yeah, I mean, I'm going to have to give credit to, to Tara um, at Stanford. When I was there as an assistant, um, Hurricane Katrina happened, and, and I was very frustrated, and I didn't like how our country responded in, in that moment. Um, and I was just complaining, and Tara said to me, well, Charmin, what are you going to do about it? And I was like, what do you mean? <laughs> like, well, you know, you're, you're talking, what are you going to do about it? And I was like, okay. And at that point, I put together the Katrina Assist Pledge Program where every assist that we had that season, people could donate a certain amount of, pledge a certain amount of money. And we raised over $18,000 for the Habitat for Humanity organization in Katrina and to help rebuild homes. And so that sticks with me all the time. And again, this was coming off of um, the summer of the murder of George Floyd and other countless um, individuals. And uh, I was like, what can we do about it? And this was one of those things where we have this race. Uh, we just had the fifth annual race for change. We raised over $7,000 for our diversity, equity, inclusion, belonging, and justice program that's run by Dr. Ty Douglas. And this helps our student athletes have an inclusive environment within Cal. Um, it's, it's just phenomenal. We're giving back to our student athletes to help on that social justice piece. And it's growing. This year we had Gary Payton and Antonio Davis in the house and Dr. John Carlos was back. And so we're just continuing to build this event and make positive change within our community. So after the summer of the murder of George Floyd, I thought there was a lot of conversation surrounding social justice issues that I saw really disappear after the season and the bubble ended. And, People went back to their lives. COVID was subsiding a bit, and I didn't like that. I, I didn't think we'd resolve many things in our country, and I felt like we needed to continue the conversation surrounding social justice. So I thought about what could we do um, And our program. We rebranded our tournament to the Raising the Bar Invitational, with the bar standing for basketball, activism, and representation. Because in our sport, you know, we have over 45% of our student athletes who are women of color, yet approximately, I don't know, 17% or so of the head coaches are women of color. So I wanted to highlight that issue. Um, and, and it's been really great. It's four black female coaches. We had all black female officiating crew last season and looking forward to continuing that. I, I want it to be something where people talk about raising the bar invitational the way you talk about, you know, the Jimmy B classic or, you know, Maui invitational. So we, we, we've got to keep the basketball improving, but we're really excited about it.